hello game developers welcome back to another Vinci develop 5 tutorial so today we will be creating a portal um so let's begin as usual let's have a preview of what this would look like when we are done okay so i know my character is um, really weird well i made my character by myself i was trying to get a variety of character or create a new character so um Okay, so well, I'll just manage that for this tutorial. So, this is my first portal, and if my player is in collision with this, it creates my player, it takes my player to the second portal, and my player is in collision with it again, it does the same again. Here we go, so close. So, this is my first portal here, and this is my second here, so it, um, it creates my player, or it takes my player to the second portal when my player is in collision with the first. So, um, well, that's what we will be doing today. So, open to develop five, create a new project. Um, it lets you something like the help ball. Okay, so first of all, let's add in our um, our sprite. That's our portal sprite. Here we go. Photo clicks on animation. Let's add in an animation. Um, okay. So here we go. I've rotated the first photo so it looks like it's spinning. Um, so I'll pick the first one. Open. Uh, pick the second one. Um, the third one. And the four one. So these are the four sides of um, my portal. So preview. Oh, sorry, not the apples. Loop and preview. Here we go. So it looks like it's um, rotating. Okay. So apply and okay. Sorry. Let's rename this portal one since we will be adding the second portal later. So let's place this around here and okay let's place the second one at the edge so just duplicate this and name this portal 2 and let's place this here so here we go let's go to our game event um, close this add a new group to make our work organized um, let's name this portal Add a sub condition, add a condition of um, collision. So, collision, our player is in collision with um, our player is in collision with portal. That's our uh, portal one. Sorry, player is in collision with portal one. Add an action position. So, a position of an object, that's a position of our player. Hitbox. Do not use your player uh, character. Rather, use your hitbox. Okay. So modification size set to X position. Um. Here we go. X position. The X position of an object. That's the X position of a portal to apply modification sign set to Y position. Um. Uh, Y position of our portal 2. And the Y position of our portal 2. Here we go. So, okay. Our player in collision with portal 1. It creates our player hits box. Or it changes the position of our player hits box to portal 2 X and portal 2 Y. So, let's preview this. So, here we go. So playing in collision with this, as you can see, it creates a play a uh, portal two. Um, okay, so that works perfectly. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, so it creates a player out of portal two. Close this. Um, now let's make um 
This create a player hit box at portal one when a player hit box is in collision with a uh, portal two. So if you don't want uh this to happen, you don't have to add in this event. So add an empty event, add a condition, collision, collision um player. So player is in collision with portal two. Okay, player is in collision with portal two. Position position of an object that's the position of our player hit box so the position of our player hit box modification so I set to x position of so the x position of four row one apply um, modification sign set to y position of y position. Oh, sorry about that. So the y position of object photo um, one apply. So okay, so now this should create a player. At the portal two, um, one, when our player is in collision with the portal two, and vice versa. So here we go. Our player is in collision with this. Okay, so we have an issue here. Okay, so our player. Okay, our player is in collision with um. Our player is in collision with portal one, and it creates. A player directly on the portal portal two x and y and here we said if our player is in collision with portal two uh it changes the position of our player hits box to portal one well uh that's why we have the whole glitch in it we need to add a distance between the portal and our player so player is in collision with portal one do portal two x let's say uh a plus one 50 here we go and do the same um here okay plus 150 okay I want this to go backwards so minus 150 preview this so here we go a player is in collision with um our portal as you can see a player it creates a player of portal to a place in collision again as you can see, um, here we go. Okay. So um, that's how it's done. And okay, I I have another method for this. If you want your player to um be able to move into your portal a little bit before being um teleported to the other portal, um, I'll just show you how to do that now. So game, scroll to the bottom, add an object, sprite. Add an animation, edit with Pisco. So, um, I just did a sprite. So, uh, here we go. Just set the black save. Rename this Auto One Hitbox. Apply. So now position this at the point you want your player to uh, be in collision before it teleports your player so here I'll just position this here here we go and I think do the same for your portal to duplicate uh, place that here too okay So here we go. Now let's go to our events. Um, add an empty event. Add a condition. Beginning of the scene. So add the begin. Oh, sorry. At the beginning of the scene. Um, hide. So hide the object. So we'll hide the object portal one. Uh, sorry, portal two hit box. Uh, copy paste and hide portal one hit box. So here, players in collision with portal one 
hit box he just changes to the hit box and not the portal so here we go hit box okay this is sorry about this rename um play to hit box here we go so preview this and here we go so here a player can um stand in our portal before being teleported and if our player is in collision with our uh, um portal one hit box as you can see it teleports our player to our portal two so if our player is in collision with this again as you can see it brings it back to um, a portal one so now we're using the hit box and that's it